Grand Tag Team Bout here on Thursday night, November the 10th. In addition, ladies and gentlemen, some single matches I want to point out to you. Ricky Martel, a man that ultimately is going to be meeting Nick Bockwinkle, is strongly be tested by Ray the Crippler Stevens. Rock and roll Buck Zumhoff, as you know, to meet Bobby the Brain Heenan. Light heavyweight title on the line, in fact, if Bobby Heenan should make weight. Brad Ringens to go against the great Billy Robinson out of Manchester, England. Europe's number one man, Otto Vance from Graz, Austria, to meet Rebel Bill White, superstar Billy Graham, to go against Blackjack Lanza. A little over a week ago, out at the Winnipeg Arena, the incredible Hulk Hogan met Dr. D, redneck Dave Schultz. Let's go back to that date, the 20th of October, and join the action in progress. Call it what you want. Schultz coming off that rope and a gigantic body slam at a part of the incredible Hulk Hogan. And is he back or is he back? Whip to the turnbuckles and follows that up with a big elbow. Schultz down and the incredible Hulk Hogan really go to work. On the redneck is the fan. So affectionately call this man out of Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, yes. That elbow has just leveled Redneck Dave Schultz. Hulk Hogan could have pinned the man. Pick up a Tommy Crop. They got on that rope, but Hulk wasn't about to pin him anyway. cameramen, our audio people, our directors should hang with us here. This may not be over. Now Saito is holding Schultz back. Schultz wants to get back into the ring. He's got to be out of his mind. Contest. No contest. Match out of control. 
Hall, between Dr. David Dolph and the incredible Hulk Hogan. Well, out of control it was, but I don't totally understand that call. That no contest. That is the official ruling by referee Joe Perino. No contest. Paul Colgan not exactly happy with that news. And you've seen it. Right here. Out old star wrestling. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Redneck Dave Schultz against you, Hulk Hogan. Mr. Saito getting into the act. Apparently, that was their big surprise. You know, I should have known from day one what it was. It goes on and on and on. And I'm tired of being on the receiving end. You know something? You're right. It was Saito that was a big surprise. But now, things have changed. Since this is a war and it's tossing to the wind, there are some people around here who feel the same way about the situation as I do. Since uh, Saito and Schultz seem to be buddy-buddy with the Sheiks, you know, let's get it on the battle royal. I knew whose side I was on. I saw how it was going down. So now the high fires and the heavy artillery, we all feel the same about the situation. Oh. Hey, we don't have nothing to lose, man. It's caution to the wind, and this is the way we're going to get it done. Four of us. I like that. I think cast That's your right. face Teamwork. to the wind, Jimmy Bunzel. Teamwork is the name to being successful in this match. And, you know, when the big man just said that he couldn't help notice a little uh, coziness uh, that uh, Saito and Schultz were getting with the two sheets, I was in that battle royal, and I'm sure those 12,000 or 13,000 people saw Jerry Blackwell grab David Schultz and give him that big backdrop and then splash him. So there's got to be a little animosity in the back of David Schultz's mind. Craig Gagne, listen, Gene, when the smoke is cleared, this is like our own battle royal. I've never heard yeah. of it before. I've never been involved in it before. Four men against four men, an eight-man tag. Well, it's because Blackwell Sheep would not put up the title. It's because of what Blackwell did to Andre the Giant. It's because of what Saito and Schultz and Patera tried to do to all of us. And we're going to settle it. And right, somebody will be taken out in a stretcher. And it's not going to be one of us. You know, I would never be foolish enough to upset you, Andre the Giant, but apparently there are parties that have. Why, they did it. And Jerry Blackwell and Ken Patera. You see what happened. You see the way I got away with Adam Casey. This time, they're going to be your turn. You all are stretch a longer, but I want to stretch a swatter for you, Jerry Blackwell. Jerry Blackwell, after I get rid of you, and Ken Patera, I got those two guys. I'm sorry, those three guys. Get away from the Dr. Schultz and Mr. Saito. Because Jerry Blackwell, I'm sick and tired about what you're doing. Everybody's saying, you are the number one, but I will show you the number one, and we're going to see who is the real giant. All right, it is going to we be know, at yeah. eight. You yes, know, indeed, an eight-man no. tag, ladies and gentlemen. You know, they might as well rent a semi to carry all the bodies out. I can't imagine what Andre's going to do. With all, we all feel the same way, man. This is it. This is the war. This is a big Ooh. battle. And you know something? We don't have to worry about nothing because we ain't got nothing to lose. We're sick of all this Pearl Harbor going on. Ladies and gentlemen, it is surely going to be something else. You can feel the intensity and the excitement and get your tickets in advance. Thursday night, November the 10th, out at the Winnipeg Arena. Eight-man tag team action. 